Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I decided to run around and knife everyone that I came across. Knifing in Hardline, simply put, is brutal. Not only is it challenging, which we'll get to here in a second, but the animations themselves are simply amazing. I think my favorite animation is either the one where you stab the enemy through their skull, like you just take your fist and punch your knife right through their head, or where you flip over a prone user, try to stab him through the eye socket, he struggles for half a second, and then you just slide it right on in. It's, it is it is ridiculous. The, the animations in this game are way, are way more brutal compared to its Battlefield 4 counterparts. That being said though, as I mentioned, it is quite difficult to just run around with this exclusively, trying to take out your enemy simply with the knife. The more and more I ran around this thing, the more I realized that I was basically signing my own suicide note if I did decide to go through one of these takedowns. I don't think that Visceral did anything to the speed of which you go through the animations, especially if you compare it to Battle 4, I don't think that it's any faster or slower, but because every weapon in Hardline kills ridiculously quickly, you have the K-10, you know, shotguns, all of the assault rifles are very powerful, as soon as an enemy looks in your general area, if you're not able to duck behind cover or get the hell out of there, you're not gonna last very long. And so trying to go on an extended kill streak, even just killing two or three enemies back to back, is no easy task because as soon as you think that you've outplayed your enemy, as soon as you think you've been able to sneak around and get behind a few enemies, as soon as one of them just turns around for a split second, realizes that you're going through that animation, which feels like an eternity by the way, like it feels like it takes forever while you're going through it, uh, you're probably gonna be dead very, very quickly after that. Uh, one thing that I do love about Hardline System though, is the way that they've tackled frontal knives. I'm sure you guys are very aware that the counter knife system is no longer in hardline. Hallelujah, because that system was atrocious in Battlefield 4. And so if an enemy does charge at you with his knife, yes, he's gonna be at a disadvantage, but if he tries to slash at your face, you're no longer gonna have that I win button by basically clicking one button when it prompts you and getting that guaranteed kill. Uh, one thing that took me by surprise is that if you do frontal slash your enemy, it does a significant amount of damage. I was assuming that it was gonna be very similar to Battlefield 3, where it does about 50 damage per swipe, but from my experience, it was doing around 74 or 75 damage per swipe. And so if you only have one round left in your chamber, you know, you had this intense firefight, another enemy rounds the corner, basically every weapon that you ha have access to in Battle of the Hardline, if you put one bullet, that one bullet that you have left in your magazine, and then just swipe him right in the face, he's gonna be down for the count. Like, he he's not gonna last very very long. Uh, this was sort of a tactic that I was trying to use when I was running around just with my knife. Of course I wasn't shooting at the enemy, but if I could sneak around to the front of them and catch an enemy by surprise and get two quick slashes into their face, that I found was a much faster way than going through the, the, the knife animation. I, I wasn't left as exposed as I was if I did have to go through that knife takedown, and if I wanted to go on an extended kill streak, that was a really nice and easy way for me to go about it. it did leave me vulnerable like if the enemy was kind of smart and just looked at me while I was facing them of course they're gonna be able to shoot at me and sometimes I was taken out especially if they were using a k-10 or a shotgun but for the most part because it took a lot of people by surprise it was a very fun and humiliating way at quickly taking out my targets uh, one thing that I did notice though is that there are some interesting qualities associated with the knife that I don't necessarily know if, if they're a bug or not. The one that really caught me off guard is that if you go prone next to someone who's standing up and swipe at their feet, apparently you slash right through their Achilles heel, you go straight for the artery, and they bleed out instantly. They, they will die, I think, 100% of the time with that one swipe. I don't know if this is because when you're prone, it doesn't allow you to go through the animation. That could be one reason. I'm assuming this is, this is a bug, but if you wanna kill someone very quickly where they have absolutely no idea how they got taken out that fast, go prone right at their feet and, and take them out by going through a quick slash right to their Achilles heel. Uh, another interesting quality, and something that took me a while to get adjusted to, is that the frontal knife slash 
has a shorter range compared to if you try to go through an animation behind someone. So here's a perfect example. I got Jack Frags in front of me, he's facing, I'm slashing at his face, clearly not hitting him, but as soon as he just starts to turn around, then the knife animation lunges forward and I'm able to stab him in the back. And so while this isn't game breaking or anything like that, we wouldn't want people to be able to lunge forward and slash someone in the face. We don't want uh, Modern Warfare 2 Commando on our hands. Uh, it does take some adjustment if you are just running around with a knife exclusively because you'll assume that you should be able to get, you know, the, the hit marker on someone, but because the range of the knife isn't as long when you go, when you're, when you're facing them, it, it can be quite jarring in some circumstances. Uh, but overall, I did have a lot of fun being a silent little assassin and taking people out with my knife. Uh, clearly, I had a lot of fun editing today's video as well. I always love those smooth transitions, and I gotta say, the brutality makes it even more enjoyable to switch between these clips, and so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think about the knife system. Are you happy that the counter knife is no longer in hardline? Do you like that the frontal knife does a lot of damage? Let me know down below. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's video. And so until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.